Hey guys and welcome to the video and I hope that you are feeling awesome. Alright guys, slight change of plan to what I said that was last week's vlog was going to happen. Um, me and Yvonne woke up this morning and we literally just got chatting and I must admit time literally has flown by. So literally I've decided I'm going to go somewhere else today for my little bit of ecotherapy and to be truthfully honest I have been stuck inside for far too long and I've been desiring guys to go out today. So the place that we are walking towards is called Red Brook Field and it is absolutely fantastic and the view from up the top there guys is absolutely so spot on for a beautiful sunrise. Honestly, in the morning, when I have came to this area to do a few of the sunrise videos, I've came through here in the early hours of the morning when it's been completely dark, and I've got to confess, it's kind of spooky. And I see all this area here on the ground. This was much higher up. Now, this is the location that I was on about today, guys. You can see for miles. To be honest, it makes no difference how many times I come to this location. I absolutely love just staring at and getting lost in what you can see in the distance over there. So I've got to be honest, um, a few people have asked me, you know, how am I doing, you know, how's it, you know, how you feel, you know, etc. Now, to tell you the truth, me and my dad's relationship has never been 100% right. And it's very frustrating when I was always wanting to have my dad in my life and wanted my dad to come and visit me and spend time with me, you know, in my new hometown of Rougey, so to speak. But, you know, that has never happened and it upsets me because I really wish that he took the time and the effort to come and see me like he has many other people. I needed this time to go, hang on a minute, what is important in my life? Now, I tell you something, you know, Yvonne is totally 100% important in my life. Um, you know, her family, you know, is absolutely awesome. I love Yvonne's mum and her brother. You know, they're fantastic people and they actually love me too, which is great to be truthfully honest i'm you know i want to keep it that way but anyways i'm gonna have a little wander around here and see what i can find and uh, hopefully i might see um, some wildlife there's literally cans bottles you name it all over this area now i only found this little bit here because i saw all this literally the sun like ricocheting off all the bottles and i thought what's over there that's very bright I got here and I was like, oh my gosh. Surely is a darn sight easier to take the rubbish with you because it would be a lot more lighter. It should have taken you more effort to bring the items to this location, whereas this would have been a lot more lighter to take home, get rid of it, you know, in your household rubbish and whatnot. But anyways, I'm just going to have a carry on, have a little bit more of a walk around this area because I've just noticed some wooden um, fencing and I thought, well, that wasn't there last time I came here. However, like I said, the land looked a little bit different to last time I came to this area. Interesting. All right, this fence here, guys, looks to be some sort of a, a boundary line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a little bit of a wander. Holy crap, guys. Wow, absolutely brilliant, absolutely beautiful day I tell you for weather it is and I must admit that was a bit of a steep slope there coming down there. Hello, yes. Oh. Trust me to start the dogs barking. Whoa, guys, it looks like a squirrel. But anyways, I'm now making my way home and I'm looking forward to getting back home because I can't wait to get onto Minecraft with Yvonne. And uh, there is one particular area that I just can't wait to get done because it's all starting to come together. This uh, plan has been up here for a while. And it's nice when you get to see things come together that you've uh, been thinking about. But anyways, let's get home, eh?
Well guys, I am absolutely pleased to be finishing today. Not that I've had a bad day at work, but I've literally, I've had so many ideas go through my head that I just feel sometimes you don't get given the chance to actually think about things properly in like everyday life type of thing. Yvonne's just started work now, so we just had a bit of a catch up and uh, she was like, well, when you get home, could you do us a favor? And I'm like, yeah, all right, I'll do you favor. What do you want me to do? And she goes, oh, could you jump on my bakery story and help me out and put some stuff down for me? And I'm like, yeah, no worries. For those who watched last week's vlog, I was talking about I had to do a temporary fix on the fence with all that wind that we had. I've had to wedge a piece of wood in there and prop this piece of wood up there because it was this fence panel here that literally, no word of a lie, the wind came gusting from that direction, hit it, hit into the tree and it went dish straight into next door's garden. But I gotta say this, that I am looking forward this year to really doing something with this garden because I would absolutely love to sort out all these levels in this grass this area here guys, I want to like higher up a little bit so that we got a nice little patio area here. So this year guys, I'm going to be doing quite a lot of digging and moving and you know alterations to this garden that I can't wait for you guys to see. So uh, let's just say look forward to seeing lots of time lapse of me sweating my arse off doing this in the garden. It's going to be absolutely crazy. <laughs> oh, that was a bit of fun, wasn't it, guys? Well, anyway, speaking of fun, guys, I have set the uh, camera up. And I'm so interested in seeing what I'm able to capture from this, as I've not really done many time lapses from the front of the house. However, guys, I've caught up with everything I needed to do when I got back from uh, work. And to be truthful, guys, it did not take that long. So now I'm just going to be playing the waiting game until I have to leave to go and pick up Yvonne from work. So for the next, I suppose, the next hour, I think I'm going to sit down and chill and play some Minecraft, I think. Time passes so quick and I must admit I got quite a bit done on Minecraft so I am quite happy about that. It's now that time to go and pick up Yvonne and uh, let's see uh, what till she's on. Look who we have here. Hello. Hello. You look like you've been put on the spot. Like, you left on your own here. I know, I'm just like my customer. Oh well, Yvonne's customer came back in the end, and uh, lucky enough, it looks like she is able to get what she needed. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a little look around and wait for Yvonne, and then after that, we're gonna be going into town to be having a look around those shops, and then uh, pretty much go home and chill. That's a good girl. Do your doings. <laughs> quite looking forward to seeing that time lapse area because I've not recorded in this area before so fingers crossed guys it turns out to be an absolutely great time lapse video but anyways I'm now at work and uh, I'm gonna head on in now and fingers crossed guys I have an awesome shift and today there is a possibility that I might actually get the chance to do some litter picking what I'm gonna try and do is take some pictures of before the area that I've litter picked then afterwards so you guys get to see how much I've done Unfortunately, I couldn't do any of that litter picking that I was hoping to do, but I spoke to my manager, so I was like, do you know what? How cool would it be to do like a time lapse of me collecting all of this rubbish, right? And um, she was like, yeah, yeah, she likes the idea, but she's gonna confirm it with the store manager. But anyways, I'm now gonna head on home now and spend some time with Yvonne, and to be truthful, nice, I'm quite happy and excited for next week because I picked up an extra day and I'm not usually used to working on a Tuesday. So I'm hoping guys I'm gonna be able to capture majority of my um, week and then if I can then I'll be able to show you guys all the bits and bobs I'm gonna be up to. But anyways I am so looking forward to getting home so uh, let's get on the road. Hello. 
Hello there, Linksy Lose. Well, I know why you're sat there. The reason he sat there, guys, is that's where the pipes go for the heating. However, doing a bit, uh, doing a bit of like a, a rewind sort of thing. Um, we we're speaking about last week um, in the vlog about you know things that went wrong on the um, Monday the twenty first of February, and uh, one obviously as I've mentioned my dad. Second thing was I've showed you the fence, and now the third thing is the heating in the house and the radiators. And also, like previously mentioned last week, there's some lino on the floor here. So the carpet has been pushed over like this. So we're airing it sort of thing on this side. Because we got a guy coming out in the next two weeks to hopefully fix a new radiator to this room. And also, we discovered two other radiators in the house that started to get a bit of a leak. So not only we're we having three new radiators... We're also having a new hot water tank as well and um, emerging it goes with that. So we're having a lot of uh, plumbing being done on that day. But anyways, I'm about to go downstairs now and go chill out with Yvonne. I'm going to get on with doing some Minecraft and pretty much chill for the rest of my evening. Wow guys, it is absolutely like tweeter in heaven right now. And the thing is, no matter where you go, you can hear the birds tweetering around. But anyway, how are we doing there, Yvonne? We're doing okay. <laughs> I am feeling very, very free today. And the main reason is, guys, um, I've been speaking to Yvonne. I was speaking to Yv um, Yvonne's mum. And also, I was speaking to my colleague yesterday about my dad and his funeral and such. I just feel like it would be a bit of a hypocritical move for me to go all the way, spend you know my money, my time, my effort to go all the way from Rougie to Bristol to say goodbye to someone, right, that didn't bother to spend any time or even come to see me or spend time with me and Yvonne, you know, in my new home. So that's pretty much the way it lies, guys, and that's why I'm not going to the funeral. But Anyways, on a bit of a positive note, me and Yvonne are now at work and we are ready and looking forward to getting our shift done. The sun is hiding behind those clouds. You gotta be honest guys, I really missed the perfect opportunity to get a beautiful red sky this morning. But unfortunately, I didn't think about bringing my uh, other camera to set up a time lapse of it. But anyways, I am now done for work. Yvonne was done, you know, a few hours ago. And now we're both looking forward to heading home. And I'm just going to have a relaxing day. That's what I feel like. But anyways, we've got Yvonne here. What you doing? Look at that. She's playing Bakery, bakery story. story. Of course. What else? <laughs> well, it looks like she's using her time wisely. But anyways, we're going to head on home now. I've got to confess. Me and Yvonne's got home from um, work and we have been so preoccupied with doing lots of stuff in the house. Must admit, there was a part of me today that was going, oh, do you know what? Later on, it'd be absolutely fantastic if you get a uh, sunset video. But um, unfortunately, if you look at this, no chance. Guys, the weather this morning is absolutely fantastic. But we've got some birds flying around here, which is just landed on top of the aerials then as I just turned the camera around. Anyway, guys, it is a Saturday morning and I've got to be ultra shush because Yvonne is still in bed. So I think it's time for a cup of coffee and a bit of relaxation, i.e. editing. <laughs> And um, I'm uh, looking forward to uh, my day today, to be honest, because I've uh, decided to pack it up with lots of different things I want to do throughout the day. Wow, guys. It's been literally only like five, maybe six hours since the last time we were outside. And the sky has literally changed so much during the day. And it's been so windy as well. Anyway, guys, um, Yvonne's now getting herself ready for work. And I'm just about to have my dinner. And then a bit later on, I have to make my way to work myself. I'm hoping that today is going to be an awesome quick shift. It's going to be busy. And also, I am definitely looking forward to seeing what the uh, sky is going to be doing for work. Because where I sit I have a perfect view of what the sky is doing but anyway as I said Yvonne's getting herself ready now and uh, I'm gonna get my dinner 
Wow, guys, the weather has changed so much today. We have had rain, we've had wind, we've had all sorts today, to be honest. And now it's that dreaded time for me to take myself to work. And to be truthfully honest, it's not that big of a shift. I'm looking forward to getting it done. And then afterwards, I'm going to be um, either playing on some bakery story if it's crap evening. Or if it's nice and it's dry, I might have a little bit of a wander around. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? But anyways, I need to get myself to work. Wow, guys. Wow, guys. The moon is looking so beautiful today. Which sounds strange saying today when it's still light and the moon's out. But anyway, guys, I'm here at work now and I'm about to head on in and then uh, hopefully have a great shift. Hey, yeah, just saying hi to a colleague. <laughs> but anyway, guys, well, I have to say that I'm definitely uh, going to be here in that location there, guys, to do a time lapse video. Oh my god, it's just got really windy. So all the wind is just coming at us right now, guys. Now this location would be absolutely perfect for a uh, sky video. But anyway, I'm just waiting to start working and then crack on. I've already seen where Yvonne is, so I'll do a flyby visit to her to say a quick hi. And then uh, be got time for me to crack on and start my shift. I am now finished work, guys, and to be truthful and honest, I've had the most awesome shift. I am absolutely looking forward to sitting in the car and having a bit of time on uh, Bakery Story. But anyways, time to find Yvonne. Where are we going there, Yvonne? We're going to get boxes. Well, you're going to get boxes. Green I'm ones. going back to the car. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyways, we're going to leave Yvonne going to, to get the boxes. Look at her working. She can't even hear me. <laughs> I think she knows it is me. And what she's doing is she's putting the um, boxes down there for the customers to use so they don't use obviously all these bags and whatnot, I suppose. Guys, today has been absolutely a beautiful day for weather, right? And this morning, the sunrise was absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, guys, I couldn't capture it, you know, properly enough because I had condensation in the car. So you can see there clearly guys that uh, I had a bit of an issue this morning capturing that video. But anyways, I am now done for work. I'm just waiting for Yvonne to get to Tesco's because we have our weekly shop to do. We have been on a roll already. But guess who we have? Whoosh, oh, look Hello! <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately guys, this is where we're gonna have to love and leave you for this week. So we both wanna say a huge thank you for coming by. It means the world to both of us and always Remember, Remember guys, guys, guys to, do your, to best. do your best. To stay positive and scroll those negatives. Oh yeah, baby. And we'll see you on the next one. Alright, alright. Bye, bye. Z bye. bye. bye.